Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Today we are continuing on with Spooktember. Right, just like introduce yourself and... Yeah. yeah. I'm Austin, Austin Ryko, and um, Brandon wanted me to tell you, say, tell you some stories. <laughs> <laughs> this particular situation came from Winona University. And um, the spiritual presence there, it's, it's different. There's a lot of um, bad things going on there. It's actually a drug route. People get taken from there for prostitution. I mean, there's like a lot of roofies in the party stuff. So there's a lot of bad stuff going on. And I don't know if that's a factor, may or may not be a factor, but uh, I was in my first or second year of college. I went down there because my friend was there. He's just kind of showing me the layout, how things are, and you know, we had like a worship night or whatever down there. One of the nights I slept in his dorm, I was on the bottom, like futon things, very uncomfortable. Uh, and he was on the top. And I remember waking up, it's been a while now, I think it was, it's either three or four, 12. I don't remember which, it was three or four. Uh, and that, that number's important, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But I remember waking up at that time, and I had this like, just really awful dream. It was felt really dark and really gratuitous and I kind of just wake up from that dream I'm like yeah kind of like whatever and I walk out in the hallway and I go down to the bathroom because you know gotta go to the bathroom at that time of night and on my way back I felt almost something come upon me like a presence coming down and I just remember feeling like, well, obviously freaked out because I'm like, I'm just walking back and all of a sudden I like got this random feeling. So I kind of scurry back, making sure there's nothing around me. I'm like, okay, I got nothing scared of. I don't know why I feel so weird. So I scurry back and I lay on the futon and I'm just like, okay, gotta go back to bed. I notice that I can't move. Mm. All of a sudden, and I'm getting a little freaked out, a little more freaked out at that point, because you know can't move. So I try and help uh, wake my friend up, who's above me, and I can't speak. I can't like get any vocalization out of my mouth, <laughs> and pretty freaked out at this point. And then all this like. I can't move, I can't speak, and I start feeling this pressure upon my legs, and it kind of like, it feels like it's pressing up towards my chest, mm. almost like something's crawling up towards me, and my eyes start like fluttering really fast, and I like see these two glowing balls every time I close my eyes. And I'm like super freaked out. I'm like, what the heck? And then all of a sudden I can, I can murmur, I can get some sound out and I'm able to wake up my friend. I'm like, I, I don't really know what's going on right now, but can, can you just start praying? <laughs> There's something going on with me. <laughs> so he starts praying and he's kind of just like, okay, dude, I'm gonna, you know, like praying in his sleep almost, but he starts praying and, um, I feel like I'm actually able to be more, be louder. Mm -hmm. And gradually I'm able to like get up and sit up. And that presence I felt at first, it was very like, it felt very dark, it was very scary. And then I feel another presence kind of just like wash over me. And from this point of fear, I was like, 
really freaked out and it turned into a, all right, let's go. <laughs> like, I'm ready to fight whatever's in front of me. It was like a switch, crazy switch. I started praying and then it was gone, whatever was there. But for the next two or three years, I'd wake up at that same time. And not every time, but I'd feel that presence again. But I would just pray right away. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was always a little freaked out when I woke up at that time. Yeah. Uh, it was probably like two or three times a week, but um, eventually it went away. And when I was talking with my professor who had a similar experience, he also woke up at that same time. And it was within like minutes of that time. If I could remember, it was like 3.12 or 4.12. He said, yeah, every night I'd wake up at that same time. <laughs> so I don't know what that is. What's even crazier is that I told one of my friends the story, but you know, I left out like details, or whatever. Well, she had a dream and she said that she could see everything that was going on in that situation I was in. And she was able to recall details that I haven't even told her, like what I was wearing, Whoa. what Jared was, where Jared was, my friend. She said that she could see it. She could see what was going on, but she could actually see the thing that was there. And she was kind of like describing to me what it was. And she said it had like just pale glowing eyes. Mm. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was, that was one of my experiences. Dang, that's nuts, man. So it's like, it's it, cause it almost sounds like sleep paralysis. That's exactly what I thought. But like, you didn't wake up from that. Like you were already away, like your friend, like, so when you woke up your friend, like you still couldn't move. Mm -hmm. That's wild. All right, and so there's the story. We will have more stories, more spooky tales from people I know in the weeks to come as we continue celebrating. Spook Timber and Spooktober. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed. See you again soon. Cheers.